Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the GRE. We have been solving math problems out of this book here, the official guide to the GRE, the third edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. Today is our lesson number 36. Today is our lesson number 37, I believe. Today is our lesson number 37. Day 37 out of third out of third edition book. We are on page number 245. And today we'll deal with a very simple topic, very straightforward topic of average. Even though the topic is very simple, sometimes what I find is that people end up spending inordinate amount of time solving a simple problem on the exam that is not necessary. There are always uh, shortcuts and, and, and quick ways if you, if you understand the concept behind it, not the mechanical steps uh, as to how to go about calculating the average, but the actual concept behind it. For example, here is the first question. Here is the first question from page number 245, 2.7.4. We are calling it A because we, because in the book they only give you one. We're going to do three of them, A, B, and C. And it says, it says that I scored, I'm telling you that I scored 82, 74, and 90 on three exams that I have just taken. I would like to have, I need to have an overall average of 85. Question simply is, what do I need to score to ensure, what do I need to score on the fourth exam to ensure that I get the overall average of 85 on the five ex on the four exam. Again, you can you can pause the video if you like and solve this problem classically. If that's what you want, go ahead and do that. If you want to pause the video and do it yourself. Oh, here's the quicker way. Here's a very simple quicker way. 82, 82, 74, and 90 is what I scored in the three exams. I want an overall average of 85. Oh, I want an overall average of 85. But did I get 85 on the first exam? The answer is no. I'm three. I'm three. I'm three points short. I need to. I, I'm, I'm three point short. I wanted 85, but I'm three points short. I need to earn the three extra points here. What about here? Did I get 85? The answer is no. I'm 11 points short. I'm 11 points short. I need to make up those 11 points. And here, I actually have a surplus. I have a surplus of five points. I wanted 85. In other words, if I had scored exactly 85 on all the exams, my average would have been 85. I scored 5 points more than my target. I have a surplus of 5 points. There we go. That's it. We're done. That's all we are. 3 plus 4, uh, 3 plus, uh, but this is a negative 5. But there you go. This negative 5 and this 5, let's just cross them out. They're gone. So 3 plus 1 is 4, and 8 plus 1 is there you go. I need to score 94. That's what we are done. If I score 94, 94 on the fourth exam, that will ensure that I have an overall, overall score, overall average of 85. Here's another one. Part B. This time you do it. Again, you can do it in the classical way or you can do it a little bit differently. It says, it says that the average score on four tests that I have taken was 68. I'm telling you that I have taken four exams so far and my average so far is 68. The question simply is, what do I need to score? What do I need? What do I need to score? on the fifth exam, on the fifth exam to get an overall average of 70 on the five exams. Very simple, very straightforward question. I have taken four exams so far. I'm telling you that my average so far is 68. I would like to have an overall average of 70. 
question is in order for I would like what do I need to score on the fifth exam to get an overall score of 70 on the five exam overall average of 70 overall average that's average again it's very straightforward very simple I have taken four four exams and I, I'm telling you that I so far I have an average of 68. The simplest, the quickest, the most economical way of making sure that the average score is 68 on the four exam that I've taken so far is to pretend that all four of them are 68. There you go. I have taken four exam and I, had I scored exactly 68 in all four of them, my average would have been 68. So there you go, that's the simplest way of setting up. I want an overall score, overall average of 70. Well, it's very simple. I need to make up two points here, two points here, two points here, and two points here. I need to make up eight points. I need to score 78 on the fifth exam. If I score 78 on the fifth exam, those extra eight points will be spread over the four exams that I have taken so far, giving each of those extra exams giving two extra points that I was short. That's all. Let's do one last one. Number C. If you would like to get an extra if you would like to get some extra practice, because the more of course you practice, the better you will get at it, uh, to, to solve the average problem in this manner, I would like you to watch these videos. There is a series, there is a series of videos on my channel simply titled Basic Math. Don't type in GRE or anything else, just type in Basic Math. There is a series of videos, there is a series of 200 videos entitled, uh, not entitled rather, titled uh, Basic Math. There are two, two series, 1 through 100 and 101 through 200, obviously. Basic math, day 68 to 75, and then 93 and 94. Basic math, just type in basic math, day 68. Watch that video, 68 through 75, and then there are three more towards the end. Basic math, day 93 and 94 and uh, you will get some more practice. Let's do one more. This time, again one more time, as soon as I finish writing the problem on the blackboard, pause the video immediately and then do it yourself. It says, so this is part C. B and C were not in the book, you understand? It says the average of 30, 50 and 70 is five more than the average of 40, 60, and what? This time I insist that after I have read the problem, you pause the video, do it yourself, and then compare your work against the work that you and I will do together, okay? So here's what it says. It says the average of 30, 50, and 70 is 5 more than the average of 40, 60, and what? I'll give you 5 seconds for you to be able to pause and unpause the video. So, what do we know? We know that we have the average of these three numbers, 30, 50, and 70, we know. The average of these three numbers is 5 more than the average of these three numbers, 40, 60, and what? Let's call it x. The average of these three numbers is not equal to the average of these three numbers. The average of these three numbers is 5 more. The average of 30, 50, and 70 is 5 more than the average of these three numbers. Well, I don't want 5 more. I don't like the business of 5 more. I, it, will make, it will make our life much simpler if the average of the three numbers in one set was exactly equal to the average of the three numbers in the other set. So let's make them equal. Let's make them equal. It's very simple. If you, instead of 30, if you write down 25, if you take a 5 away from it, instead of 50, if you have 45, instead of 70, if you have 65, well, there you go. Now the average of these three numbers has to equal to the average of these three numbers. We want to find out what x is, which means if the average of these three numbers is same as the average of those three numbers, which means the sum of these three numbers must equal to the sum of these three numbers. And I'm not going to actually do it out like a baby putting a plus sign, plus sign, equal sign. I'm not going to do all this thing. Just understand the average of these three, the sum of these three numbers must also equal to the sum of those three numbers. It's an equation. Or if you like, if you want to be like a baby, I can, I can put it there. That's what it is. Let's subtract 40 from both sides. 45 becomes 5. Let's subtract 60 from both sides. 65 becomes 5. And there we go. We are done. 65 becomes 5. And that's it, we're done. Our x is equal to 35. 
x equals 35. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.